Hi, this is Rick with Opus Event. In this video, we're going to take a look at and talk about logging into opusevent.com and taking care of your account. Uh, it should just take a few minutes, won't be a very long video, but what we're gonna go over uh, is how to find Opus Event out on the internet, uh, what one of the different applications that we have, how do you sign in, and in that case where you just can't remember your password, how do you reset your password? Um, how do you contact support for help? And how do you take care of your own user profile? And if you happen to be one of those users that sets up multiple accounts together using um, different email addresses, how do you merge those together? And finally, a very important one, how do you link your memberships to, to your other uh, accounts such as uh, NAFME or ACDA, uh, some of our partners that we deal with. All right, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, first of all, finding Opus Event. We have different applications. We do have a main site that is at www.opusevent.com for general access, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Um, and then we have three very specific sites. We have audition.opusevent.com, contest, and register.opusevent.com. Auditions, those are for honor group auditions. Uh, contest is for solo ensemble contests. And if you're looking for conference registration, you can go to that register.opusevent.com. All right, let me pull up a browser here. And I'll show you what these look like. First, I'm gonna go, go to www.opusevent.com. And here's our main site. And on it, we have a lot of uh, product information, some frequently asked questions, uh, basically marketing information about uh, Opus Event and what we do. You can also go into each one of our applications, honor group auditions, solo and ensemble, and conference registration, and learn more. So if you wanna go learn more about what the features of honor group auditions are, here's a list of features. We also have pricing in here, some uh, examples for you, and we can always click home and get right back here. You can also uh, go and take a look and see which audition honor groups are open, and there's a link for your audition at opusevent.com, or audition.opusevent.com. So if I click on that, it opens up a new window for me, and I'm ready to sign in, okay? The same goes for if I go to Opus Contest, I can go, uh, there's my link for contest.opusevent.com. Hang on, let me get this cleaned up for a second. There we go. Um, and finally, we have Opus Register if you're looking for conference registration. And you'll note that all of these links take us to a sign-in page. So there's sign-in page for conference registration. Here it is for contest solo ensemble. And here it is for the honor groups. And I'll close these for a minute and show you a little trick. You don't have to go through um, this main site. If you just wanna open up a browser and just go straight to auditions, you can go to audition.opusevent.com. I already have it saved in my browser. And you can get right to the login screen. So that's a, a quick and easy way of kind of skipping all of the stuff after you get, um, after you get used to how to use it. Okay, signing in. If you already have an Opus Event account, you just click the sign in button. And by the way, the sign in for the honor group applications, contest, and conference registration are all identical. You have one account, you get to use them in all places and they work. So to sign in, click on the sign in button. Uh, we use emails, so I'll use a test email that I use, dbrick57 at gmail, and then I type in my secure password. And when I hit enter, it logs me in, and I am right in this case, 
on uh, Opus Audition, I'm looking at all of the current live audition events that I have access to. Same goes for contest. Uh, I can sign in with the same account there, same password. And here's all the contests that are currently open that I have access to. Same goes with uh, registration. Okay. Um, if you need to go in and reset your password, when you get to the sign-in page, all you have to do is click this forgot your password link. When you click that, it'll say, great, who are you? We need your email address. And you go ahead and email the link. Whoops. There we go. And email the link. And it has sent an email to me, and I sent that to my uh, Gmail box. So I'm going to go over here and take a look at my Gmail box. And uh, there, it just came in. So I go ahead and double click on that. And here's the email that I received. It'll, it'll just say, click here to reset your password. If I go and click there, it opens up a new window, makes me confirm my email again, and now I can pick a new password and uh, confirm it and then reset and that'll reset your password and now you can log in with your new password and that reset password is on all of the applications no matter which one you um, you do you'll find it there so if i log off on each one of these whoops um, and go to sign in i've got the same forgot your password link there Okay, um, contacting support. In case you need anything from us, we're always here to help for uh, any questions that you may have. So I log in. After I choose my event, let's say I'm going to do the um, ACDA of Minnesota Composer Applications. Oh, sorry. I want to be back on Triple W Opus Event. At the main site, opusevent.com, we do have a contact page. And you can feel free to go to that and fill out the information on the form. Tell us which application you're having problems with. And it always helps for you to be specific about any problems that you may be having. And when you submit this, we get an email uh, usually within a couple of seconds. And that's monitored during business hours. And actually, it's monitored uh, a lot after hours, too, especially if we have a lot of activity going on with different events and contests, if it's real busy. So the more information you can give us in here, uh, the better it is. But this is a direct email to us. If you want, you can go ahead and, and email us directly at support at opusevent.com. Um, and uh, it's, it's the same mailbox. Uh, so whichever is easier for you, if you just go ahead and click this link for technical issues, it'll um, it, it'll on a different window for me, but it just opens up a um, an email right to support at Opus Event, and it's always good. The one thing that we really need to have is uh, are you uh, honor group audition, solo ensemble, or registration, and just as important, what event are you talking about? Uh, currently now, uh, we're sitting here in the springtime, and we've got about 60 different events running. So it's uh, a little bit difficult for us to uh, maybe help with those support calls and emails uh, unless, uh, unless we know which event you're talking about. Okay, good. Um, the next thing I want to go show you is once you're logged into a, uh, an event, um, like this is honor group auditions. It'll always tell you who you are over here. I am Hello VB Rick Lyson, and it gives us the option to go to the user profile. You also have a user profile here in the menu. Either one works and takes you to the same place. And your user profile is where you set up your account. Uh, I've already set mine up, so it's got my username. Uh, it's got a password in here, and you can change the username or your email address, and you can also change a password here. 
It's got your name, your address, you can change your phones. So if you need to edit any of this information, just click the edit link right up here by your user information, pulls up your data, you can make whatever changes and then please be sure and save them and they'll take effect right away. Um, you also have uh, the ability here to uh, merge multiple accounts together. So if, uh, if you have two different accounts, let's say your school account and your personal account, and you wanna merge those together, you can do that here, and that'll be shown in a different video, but it's actually a fairly simple process. Um, and as long as you have control over both of those email accounts, meaning that you can receive an email from us on that account, then we let you go ahead and merge them together. Okay. Um, the final thing I wanted to show you in this video is linking a new membership. And um, memberships are to external organizations, usually national based, such as um, NAFME, uh, North, uh, National Association for Music Educators, and ACDA, American Choral Directors Association, along with another five or six organizations. Um, it's important to link those because many of the events are only open to NAFME members or to ACDA members. And how you do that, if you have no memberships under here, you can go ahead and click link a new membership and choose a membership type. Here are the ones that we have. We have uh, American Choral Directors Association. Uh, this is actually Michigan State Band and Orchestra Association. We have NAFME. Uh, we have Nebraska Music Educators, Texas Choral Directors. Uh, this one is Texas Private School Educators. And then we have uh, Washington Music Educators uh, Associate Members. So you just go ahead and uh, choose which link you want to have, like say a NAFME. And then you need to say what your um, primary NAFME email is. And in, in this case, your NAFME ID, it's a nine digit number. Um, and I, I don't personally have a NAFME membership, uh, so I, I, can't, I can't link mine and I, I really don't wanna use any others in this uh, video. But you would key in your NAFME number or your NAFME email, your NAFME ID, and then just go ahead and click save. Now, uh, it's giving me a message back here saying, hey, it could not be found, but normally what will happen if you have a valid NAFME um, ID or an ACD or any other, we're actually going out to those uh, membership databases and validating your membership, and it'll come back with your state affiliations, your membership type, whether it's retired or current active, uh, student membership, and the expiration date. And as soon as you do that, then you will see that in your list of membership information here. And you only need to go link those memberships one time when you first create your account. Next year, when you come back and need to have an updated one, Opus Event will go out and recheck with those um, national organizations automatically. So if it sees if you're expired, uh, if your membership has expired, uh, it will go out and contact the national organization. It just takes two or three seconds to do, and it'll pick up your new expiration date and maybe your new membership type uh, in case you um, in case you have, have changed that. So uh, it, it's a little bit of a um, little bit of extra work to set up, but as soon as you create your account, but once you do, uh, you're done, and now you have a single account using your single uh, email address that includes all of your membership links to ACDA, to NAFME, to TCDA, uh, whoever else you have membership links to. And um, that's a real good thing because in the past uh, versions of Opus Event, you would actually have multiple accounts, one for NAFME, one for ACDA, uh, one for every national provider that we partnered with. And now you only have a single account, single password, and all of your links are managed here on this page. Okay, so uh, that ends this video. 
And remember, you can get at us from www.opusevent.com, or you can also get to us uh, from direct links. So thanks for taking time to watch this.